Hello everybody, Ardrum here, and welcome back to Victoria 3. So I realized a major issue I'm having. Uh, if I go to the country in population, I have almost no unemployed. That's why a bunch of my businesses are not producing anything, like this shipyard. Even though I'm subsidizing, I don't have the employees to produce clippers, which is causing our convoy issues. Because I think the only way I'm getting clippers right now is they're getting imported. Not even that. Uh... Yeah, I'll have to import clippers. Uh, which I can't import any because I don't have the clippers to import clippers. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'll, I'll have to take a loss. Uh, where is my... Do I only have... No, I have five shipyards. Let's switch them all to reinforced wooden ships. Subsidize them. And hope we actually start producing some clippers. Maybe stabilize this. And another thing is, I did pass private health care system, but uh, it's broken. Uh, private healthcare system is basically useless because it doesn't decrease mortality as far as I can see. Because I have no idea what they mean by wealth. Does it mean it's only the upper strata? Let's see. Measure pops material assets to sustain a certain level of wealth. How do you tell what the wealth of your population is? Let's decrease taxes. So I don't understand if I'm lower in mortality or not. I guess we should I should try and go to public health insurance but if I do that the industrialists will go to revolution over it um yeah trade unions the Catholic Church is for it I'm sure they are in the government right now but uh, at least we'll get a minus four flat rate Though I don't understand, maybe I am getting a benefit. Maybe I'm getting, does that mean minus 20? Is this what they mean by wealth? So I'm getting a flat 2%, right? Reduction? Because is that the wealth there? Uh, this game doesn't explain a lot of things. I wish like these laws, were better explained eventually i'll have to go it's it's nice that in this game public health insurance doesn't cost you anything that's not how it works in reality but that's that's okay 
It, it is a game. Um, yeah, so we don't have enough population to sustain the industries we have. Which means we can't produce the goods we need to sustain the industry we have. So all around, we are just not doing great. Yeah, I can't build more industries. So I'll have to stop for a while. We'll just drop our taxes. Hopefully people will... There we go. Mortality is dropping. So it must be... Yeah. Because... So that must be the wealth level. So if you can get this to 20 or more, the private health system is actually better. Getting this to 20 or more is going to be a problem, though. When I can't produce enough goods. So that's the wealth. I'm assuming this means that's the wealth. amount so yeah they are paying a lot of for grain but i can't produce grain because i don't have the people to produce grain uh we probably need to automate i'm just gonna have to automate everything it's gonna cost more yeah let's start automating That'll free up workers for other things. Wait, didn't I unlock steam donkeys? I guess not. Dynamite? Ooh, we don't have... Did we not have dynamite? I thought... We had explode... Oh. I have to subsidize... Because, yep, it's a higher paid job, so a lot of employees will leave other places and go there. The problem with that... Yeah, I'll just have to automate everything I can. Which is gonna cost me a lot of money. In the beginning. Uh, let's, uh... Ooh. Rotary valve engine. Let's see if we can automate some of this. Nope, that's not gonna automate that. We'll need more workers. Which we don't have. Sewing machines. Uh, we'll have more engineers and mechanics, which means that should increase standard of living because they're higher paid jobs. Uh, let's put dynamite in, yeah, gold mines first. That way we can make money. Okay, so far it's working. Even though we had a bunch of negative numbers, I think our industries are starting to start actually producing now. Uh, explosives are an issue. I think we can solve that. Let's build another one. So yeah, I kind of... figured out the problem for everything, and then that's... We don't have enough people. So going automation and everything, which is going to increase pollution. 
Yep. Which is gonna make mortality go up. But if we increase standards of living, it should make mortality go down. Oh, oh, which reminds me, we research the... Uh, filing system, let's do that. I don't quite have enough to pass the next... Uh, Keep forgetting where it's located. There we go. Government administrations. Uh, let's put one here. Yeah, I don't understand how Santa Cruz. It says 37 unemployed. Uh, and then we have peasants, which can be trained to occupy. But why does it say so many thousand are looking? Let's build a university here. I think they messed up a lot of things with the 1.5. Unless peasants don't count as unemployed like they used to? Or did they, ne or they never... Not that I have a lot of... Yeah, we have very few peasants. Which I'm guessing that's uh, subsistence farms. There we go. We are having a lot less issues. We need to subsidize that. Uh, sulfur prices are very high. Fertilizer prices are very high. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I need a steam donkey. Uh, that's gonna be the next research. We're gonna... Oh no, we have enough employees. It's just we don't have enough transportation. at let's do that there now we should have more transportation that that seems to have solved that problem you are having the same issue yes yeah. The tooltips have become kind of quite counterintuitive. So, like, it used to say, well, you'll make more money if you go here. That's not true anymore. Like, this tooltip is useless. Because it doesn't seem to count everything in. Guys, I started making way more money, but by going more into automation. And our standard of living started increasing. We need to incorporate this. Let's build another government administration here. Uh, let's get the logging going. Ooh, trade routes, importing clippers from... Ooh, I have a bunch of bad trade routes.
Yeah, we're still having problems of producing clippers. We don't have enough employees in this area. Let's see if I can automate anything else. And free up some workers. Maybe not. Uh, I have other shipyards, I think, which are having the same issue. Oh no, we have enough workers. So we must have enough clippers, so I have no idea why this keeps doing that. I have no clue. Uh, buildings, I think I just need to uh, find my railroad systems and just go to wooden passenger carts on all of them. Which will need more clerks. That should be okay. Hopefully. We have an uprising, that's okay. These things happen. What is going on here? Oh, we need another railroad in this area. So yeah, I'm guessing this means the wealth level. And yep, our wealth level or standard of living is going up. Even for our impoverished. I don't remember what you're wanting it to be. I think 15 or 18. Mm, clothing, grain, coal, and services are a major issue. That'll improve. So yeah, uh, I think the 1.5, they did a lot of balancing to decrease your population growth. Which for countries like Bolivia, that's really bad because you have very small population to begin with. So even if... It, so with the decreased population growth, you don't get that many. We're getting 56,000 a year, which is means we can't grow our industry quite as quickly. I wonder I wish when there was an uprising you could just conquer the area. They should put that in. Oh that that, that was done, that was quick. Oops. What was oh there we go. Mining accident Uh, let's do this one, upper strata. We have less than a million radicals and half a million loyalists. I like it. Uh, new something need to research. What do I need? Uh, steam donkey. We need the steam donkey. We need to automate more coal mines. Uh, we need to go to dynamite because we need more coal. Basically everywhere. Um. We need more meat. We'll produce less fertilizer though, which... How are we doing on that? Oh, we need more tools. 
<laughs> we have no employees. I'd like to increase our industry, but I can't. We have a demand for luxury furniture. Let's do that. Let's automate this more. Mm, furniture production? Yeah, let's just automate it. Bone china? Let's do that. We'll need more dyes. Except according to this, we have 399,000 working adults that are looking for a new job. But we have 97 unemployed. What? Oh. Laborers, clerks, mechanics. Okay, something is broken here. Now let's build a couple. What's going on? Shortage of explosives. Yep, explosives. I'm just gonna subsidize everything for now. Because unless you subsidize, the business doesn't hire workers. And it doesn't become productive until it hires workers. I probably don't need to do that. Independent arts will produce a little bit more money. Not that I have employees for it. Okay. Yeah, something is broken because when you go to build an industry it says you have 395 available workers but they already have a job and like the aristocrats they're not gonna work at the dye plantation So I guess it's just showing you what workers can work there, but they already have a job. I guess it's just lower paying job. But 
but not the aristocrats they're making way more they're they're never gonna work so uh i don't know if this is a bug because there's only 228 unemployed so something is very wrong Okay, we still need more explosives. Which, uh, oops. What, nope. what are you doing? Oh, okay. Information. We're gonna need more sulfur and more fertilizer. A lot more. It is getting expensive. For now, Let's see if we can import some. We can't because our convoys are broken. We there we go. We can get 70 from the French market. Let's do that. Something is broken with the convoys as well. The, I think they had uh, a patch which was supposed to fix some kind of a problem with convoys, but I think it broke it more. I'd like to build more <laughs> ports, but I can't because I don't have the employees for it. You can go to industrial ports, but I don't have steamers. Because I can't produce steamers yet. Can I? No. We don't have the technology. We need to invent ironclads, which are under military, I think. So yeah, um, we need more people. Okay, we're about to have more explosive factories, but unless we have more... Let's get that fertilizer plant as well first. Followed by sulfur mine. This area has very low standards of living. Why is that? Because nobody is available to work. What? Why does this have a low standard of living? We have no people here. We have plenty of open jobs, but they're not working. Oh, because we don't have it subsidized. Nope, they're just not... How am I supposed to increase standard of living if nobody wants to work? I don't seem to see it. Okay, we have finally fixed most of the issues. And yeah, I don't know why.
Conservative Party won again. I need to get the armed forces out of the government, though. Public schools? Is there a benefit to passing this? Plus 12 assimilation, is that... Okay, that's good. Let's pass this. Because I think that's one of the issues we're gonna have. Once we start moving up south, I mean north, north. Uh, uh, yeah, I think next video we're gonna try and probably seize the rest of Chile and start attempt to make a puppet out of Colombia again. I just wonder who's gonna come to their aid this time. Let's start improving all of those. Um, and hopefully our economy stabilizes somewhat. Again, I think this is not correct. When it's saying we have 76,000 available workers, that's, that's not correct. I think that's total amount of workers, but only 25 of them are available. So something they did during the last patch broke the game. Because this makes you think, oh, I have a ton of workers available to do the jobs. I can build a bunch of industry here. But then you end up with a bunch of industry that can't employ anybody. Because they want to work somewhere where it pays better. And they're not trying to fill all the available jobs. So you end up with a lot of jobs that are not filled. Kind of like I have here. In this shipyard, I still can't get enough workers to work here. Uh, we have some growth, so that's good. Internal pop growth, 0.45. But people are migrating out. Let's cancel that. I don't know why I had encouraged. I can't get the green grass campaign. Uh, large numbers of South Taiwan people have begun migrating to Roman Republic. Roman Republic? What? French Republic. Great Britain hasn't changed. Huh. Ooh, we are number 14 in rank. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Maybe hit that like button. Leave a comment. I'll see you all next one. Bye.